Welcome back to SDRTK. And it's a great feature to be able to control the audio individually in OBS, mix the volume levels up and down while you're streaming. Maybe you have game capture going on, multiple microphones, music in the background. And that's where a device like a Go XLR, a Wave mic, a few others now are doing this as well, come in really handy. But what if I told you we could turn our Stream Deck into a mixing controller and use it to control the audio source levels within OBS without having to purchase any additional hardware? Well, that's what we're going to do today. So let's check it out. And if you haven't checked out my advanced OBS control with the Stream Deck video yet, I suggest you do that and set up the plugin from that video because you're going to need that to get this OBS audio mixer set up on the Stream Deck today. And after today's tutorial, you're going to be able to set up a mixer like what I have on screen here. What I have is five audio sources. I have a mute control for each as well as volume up and down. And it takes advantage of a number of the features that are both built in and within plugins in the Stream Deck application. Okay, so now we're looking at OBS Studio and I also have the Stream Deck control app on here. And you can see that I've already began to build a mixer. So what I've done is I've added the ART voice channel, uh, Adobe Audition, browser, and mic one. And those correspond to what I have in the mixer here in OBS, ART, Audition, browser, mic one. And I don't have mic two set up yet. So let's go ahead and do that. And the way I've configured this mixer is so that we have a mute button on the top and we have volume up and down on the bottom. So for example, if I want to mute Audition, I'll just go ahead and I'll press that mute button and you see that it is uh, muted. It shows both on the Stream Deck uh, software as well as OBS. I can press it to turn it back on. And then if I use the buttons below, I can reduce the volume on addition or I can increase the volume on addition. So I don't have a fader in this mixer, but I do have an up and down for each audio source. And as you can imagine, this is very convenient if you have game audio, discord audio, music playing in the background, uh, whatever you like to use. And if you're bringing in different sources uh, like applications, I encourage you to check out the uh, video that I made showing you how to bring in application audio. And uh, so let's uh, go ahead and set up the uh, set up microphone number two. So in order to do that for the mute, we're going to just simply use the mixer audio from the OBS uh, panel here. So we'll pull that in. And what I'm going to do is call it mic two. Okay, and uh, this one here is going to be my Scarlet input two. So now I have that and uh, it, it's functional now. If I just press the button, it will shut that off and on as you can see in OBS. Uh, but what I've done here is to take it a little step further, I've changed up the icons and I'm using a set of icons from Nerd or Die. This is the animated clarity icons. And so when it's active, what I've done here is I've selected the multimedia uh, source on icon. And that's an animated icon, so it kind of draws your attention to its on. And then when it's off, what I'm going to do is choose another one from the same uh, pack from Nerd or Die, except just the standard so that it's not animated. And so a little less uh, attention to it. And uh, in this case here, I'm just going to go up here to multimedia and uh, multimedia source off and uh, source muted here. And I'll go OK. And so now I have that. So depending on whether it's muted or on, it's going to show me on the on the Stream Deck an animated icon when it's active and a, a, just a standard icon when it's deactivated. So that's our mute. For the volume up and down, we need to go into the OBS tools from Barrator. And I did also make a video on how to install this. And I showed a number of a number of the functions of this. And today we're going to use one more. In this case, we're actually going to be using the source volume adjust feature. And I'll go ahead and I'll drag that onto each of the icons below the mute button. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now the top one, I want to be volume up. First, I'll label it. So we'll put mic two. And again, I'm just gonna orient it so it's at the bottom. And I'll do this with the other one at the same time, mic two. And we'll just go ahead here, same thing, put it at the bottom. There we go. Now for volume up, again, I'm gonna choose my source name here. In this case, it's the uh, uh, Scarlet 8i6 input two. And you'll see that we can change the volume steps. We can go in steps of one, steps of five, 10, 15. So you can make adjustments there. I'm gonna set it to plus one because I want a little more granular control, but you can, uh, you can make it uh, a coarser adjustment if you like. And that's all we need for volume up. Now we'll go to volume two and, or volume down rather and do the same thing. So again, it's the Scarlet 8i6 in my case and uh, volume is gonna be negative one. 
And so now that I have that set up here, when I press those buttons as well, you'll see the volume fader going up and down in OBS. I'm pressing the up, now I'm pressing the down button. And uh, that is, that's going to, uh, going to allow us to control the volume. And again, I can also mute that channel out. So really useful to be able to mute out tracks that we don't want, uh, add them back in as needed, balance the audio in, in the case of where we may have a volume that's a little bit too high or too low. So pretty easy to set up. And uh, now we have a mixer built into our stream deck that allows us to control the audio levels within OBS. And there can be a lot of advantages to using the stream deck to integrate your audio control. You know, first, if you don't have a Go XLR or Mini, but you have another audio interface, you may not just want to go out and drop, you know, two, three, four, five hundred bucks to add that into your setup. The other thing is, how many devices do you want to have on your desk? This can help really streamline the clutter. So that's a good way to, to consider this as well. Now, I know it's not sliding faders, but I mean, having that up and down, it really gives you the opportunity to make those fine adjustments as if you did have a fader. And the mute button's really handy for each audio source as well. And with limited space to add another mixing device to my desktop, I sure find it helpful to integrate as many features into the Stream Deck as I can. And I'm always looking for new ways to simplify my workflow with the Stream Deck. So if you're looking to level up your audio, your video, your production or content, check out one of the videos on the screen. And as always, we'll see you next time.